Angela Nolan has been asked to serve as an account administrator for Read Live in her district. Let's watch Angela set up her new Read Live account. A Read Live account can be created for a district, school, or individual teacher. Angela's account is for the Springfield School District. Angela's new to Read Live, and she just received her activation email with instructions for logging in. To begin, she clicks the link in her email. From this page, Angela moves to the Staff Member Login page. To log in, she enters her account ID, user ID, and temporary password from the email. Since this is her first time logging in, she's prompted to change her password, and then select a security question and enter her answer. To use Read Live, you need to set up schools and staff members and enroll and license students. Your assigned role determines what you can do in the program. Account administrators can complete all these setup tasks. To get started, Angela goes to the home page where she can access all areas of the program. You can always get to the home page by clicking the icon in the page header. Every account starts with one school. Angela needs to add more schools to her account. Angela clicks Account and School Administration. To set up her schools, she needs to know which schools will use Read Live and how many licenses are needed for students at each school. To begin, Angela clicks the school that was automatically created for her account. She changes the name and then must decide how to allocate licenses. One option is to enable students at the school to use any licenses available in the account. This option makes licenses available for students at a school on a first-come, first-served basis. A staff member can assign students any available licenses in the account. This method is convenient for accounts where there's just one school, because the school can just use all the licenses available without having to explicitly reserve them. The other option is to reserve a specific number of licenses for students at each school. Reserving licenses makes sense for accounts like Angela's that have multiple schools. Reserving licenses prevents one school from assigning all the licenses to their students so that none are available for other schools. Angela's district is reserving licenses for students at each school, so she must specify how many licenses the students at Springfield Elementary will need. Reserving 50 licenses for Springfield means the teachers there can assign licenses for up to 50 students, but no more. Even if the Springfield licenses aren't all assigned to students yet, they can't be used for students at other schools. To add the rest of the schools in her account, Angela clicks Add School and enters the name and licensing information for each. Next, Angela needs to add staff members who will be working with students in Read Live. First, she'll add Paul Ramos, a reading specialist at Springfield Elementary. Paul will be using Read Naturally Live with the students in his school. Angela could click the Home icon, or she could use the Navigation menu to go to the Staff Member Administration page. Then she clicks Add Staff Member. She selects School Coordinator as Paul's role because he'll be overseeing Read Live for his entire school. Angela enters the rest of Paul's information and saves it. The system will send Paul an email with his user ID and a temporary password so he can log in. Next, Angela adds the rest of the teachers who will be working with students in Read Live. Angela could also delegate the responsibility of adding teachers for each school to school coordinators like Paul. On this page, you can also edit a staff member's information by clicking his or her name. And you can delete a staff member by selecting one or more checkboxes and then clicking Delete Selected Staff Members. Angela has set up schools and staff members for her new account. Now she's ready to enroll students. She or any staff member can enter one student at a time by going to the Student Setup page. Teachers can go directly to this page using the navigation menu. 
Account administrators and school coordinators get there through the Student Administration page. Angela already has student data entered into her district student information system, and she'd rather not add the students one at a time. As an account administrator, Angela can import students into a school in the account. Staff members with a role of school coordinator can also import students for their schools. To schedule an import of student data on the Student Administration page, Angela clicks Student Import. She opens and prints the directions for creating the file to import. Then she leaves Read Live and exports the data from her district student information system. Once Angela's exported the student data and verified that the formatting is correct, she logs into Read Live and returns to the import page. Angela clicks Browse and selects the file with the student data. Then she selects the school and clicks Next. If errors had been detected, this page would highlight them. Angela wouldn't be able to continue until she addressed the problems. However, Angela's file doesn't have any errors, so she verifies that the student records are accurate and clicks Next. In the confirmation message, Angela can see that her import has been scheduled to run overnight. She'll get an email after the import has completed. Angela has set up the schools, staff members, and students at Springfield. Now she or another staff member needs to assign licenses and lead teachers to students. To work in Read Live, each student must have a license and a lead teacher. The lead teacher makes educational decisions in Read Naturally Live for the licensed student. These decisions include placing the student, changing the student's level, goal, or story options, and accessing the student's reports. Account administrators and school coordinators can do any of these things for any student, even if they aren't the student's lead teacher. But someone with a role of teacher must be the student's designated lead teacher to make these decisions. Any staff member can assign a license and lead teacher to one student at a time from the Student Setup page, but only account administrators and school coordinators can also assign licenses and lead teachers to multiple students at a time. Angela goes to the Student Administration page and then clicks Student Licensing. She picks the school, selects the students who will be working in Read Naturally Live with the same lead teacher, and clicks Assign Licenses to Selected. Angela chooses a lead teacher for the student she has selected. Angela can change this designation later if needed. Now Angela's account is set up. Lead teachers can now place their students so they can begin working in Read Naturally Live or they can assign students to work in additional Read Live programs.